All right, so I think I realized what I was doing wrong with the Rampage class. So the Rampage class is actually really good. It just requires very specific weaponry. So I found that with rapid fire weapons, it basically forces every gun to be rapid fire, actually. So with, like, guns that run out of EP almost instantly, uh, it's no good at all. But with, like, these Gatling guns and with the shotguns, it just turns them into a wall of doom that deals damage really quickly, unlike the actual wall of fire weapon. Oops, I want to sell that. And like these beam things, they don't work with it right at all. Shotguns work pretty well because they actually they go way faster. But um, and an actual really cool quirk is that with these plasma guns, I've found you actually fire um, just slow enough to constantly use your rampage. And what the rampage is, you fire both weapons at a higher rate of fire, and you. Um, Excuse me. You uh, move faster too, so you can just sort of constantly spam both shots. Not worry about res um, you know, running out of ammo. Not worry about running out of your uh, increased movement speed. You can just go mad, and that is pretty sweet. That sucks. So. I think I'm actually pretty good with what I've got now. You, I wish I was recording for the last boss. I just completely tore it to pieces. It was pretty amazing. Uh, these suck, but not enough to redo RNG. Actually, no, this one's great, actually. I'm just blind. Oh, difficulty, by the way. I noticed from one of the gameplay tips, the difficulty um, stat, or whatever you want to call it, is actually very important for getting better gear because it means more large enemies appear and the large enemies tend are much more likely to drop things and they're much more likely to drop legendary or you know rare gear which is orange also i i didn't realize initially you can tell what class or what rarity items are in the equip menu it just it wasn't obvious to me it um i'll show you when we get to it should have thought of that when we were at that menu screen. A nice side effect of Rampage having such a limited, well not limited, but being effective with very specific gear is it's a lot quicker to rush through the equipment screen, which frustratingly, like at the end of the last video, I spend like five minutes messing with gear and then I die to a boss in one minute and that's not fun. But with this, my decisions are a lot faster. Also, I did beat that second boss with a different fortress build, though. Getting a little too eager here. Also, I keep... Ah. I've been trying to learn to use, damn it, the map. The map is very nice to know which way to go to sort of... I like to clear out areas as I go to, you know, know which directions are safe. Damn it. And, um, the map is a big help in that. Because that way I can sort of focus my fire and just sort of fire ahead just a little bit. Like that. And that helps keep things a lot safer. I think that is the end. Yes, it is. Alright, so the rarity of items, it... You can kind of tell by the number of prefixes on them, but it's this color that is in the background light. I didn't notice it at first, but the orange ones are the best ones, basically. Oh. Sell the other class ones, and they're all junk. Junk. Eh. Not worth losing this. Actually, eh. I can't decide. I I don't really need this skill buffs, but uh, let's sleep on that one for now. Hmm. I think this one will be better after upgrading.
What is that? Do I have something else going on? Hold on. Oops. to turn off my soundbar. I hope that wasn't too loud. So, definitely want Frostbite. I did not mean to, uh, if you go past the equipment screen and you go to that level select, you can't go back. So that's cool. Uh, Parker, no, that's my water. You can't drink that. Calm down, please. Not sure what was going on with the music for a second there. But I mean, it's it's an early access game. There's going to be some slight oddities. And I guess the final boss isn't done, and there's only 3 out of 12 boss variations. So, uh, unfortunately, even if I do make a successful run, it's not going to be the best impression of what the end of the game is supposed to be like. But, uh, it's- ow! I hate those stupid- oh, I forgot to heal, even! I seriously do not understand why the free 25% heal does not just automatically apply. There is no reason you wouldn't want it. Like, there aren't even any skills that are like, hey, you deal more damage as you have low HP, so... It's sort of like Pokémon Centers, where it's like... You go to the building specifically to heal Pokémon, and you talk to the person that heals Pokémon and has no other function, and they ask you... If you want to heal your Pokémon, it's like... There is literally no other reason I would be talking to you. Just shut up and heal my Pokémon, please. Yeah, I'm gonna use that heal. I haven't needed this heal skill yet, actually. I, that's how good this build has been for me. So I do like the Rampage... It's just kind of... I think the Rampage skill requires a bit of explanation, really. Because it's very good, but you need you need to be doing some specific stuff with it, it seems. I actually kind of missed the one where I could just constantly spam it, but the DPS of this... This is just too effective to give up. Like, look at this. Just everything gets shredded. I don't even really need to be all that careful. And just a quick squeeze is all you need to KO stuff. So, I found myself running out a lot less. Oops, I thought you were dead, you were just frozen. Alright. The popping sound they make is very satisfying. Alrighty. That worked out decently enough. Oh, I guess I better upgrade some stuff. Tons of money. Um, is this double plasma the best thing I got? Pretty much. <laughs> Heavy duty plasma of Uncle Desecration. Sure, let's just max that the hell out. And we've got a pretty good vision course. So yeah, sure, let's just max all of that crap out. Alright, this is a boss one. It would have been really bad if I had decided to go for that. Alright, we got a bigger arena this time. That's good. Ah. Aw oh, man, this runs out really fast. Oh my god, this boss is so fucking loud. I'm sorry. Ah, this runs out too fast. I was expecting the plasma gun to slow it down a lot. Crap. I have no idea how I was supposed to avoid that since I was already here. Ugh. 
least we deal crazy damage, right? Hmm. Maybe it's because I, I have worse EP reduction? I really like this double plasma, but I might need something like stupid cheap to pair it with. Suck. Ooh, wait. Oh man, that's even more expensive. Oh man, I really want that, but hmm. I didn't think these were that much more expensive than what I was using before. Sucks, don't need that, don't need that. The way rate of fire works with the uh, rampage is a little confusing. I wonder if that double. Uh, you know, all those choices suck, so let's just skip it. These choices also suck, but I don't really want to skip too much. I wonder if that double plasma is costing more than I thought. Uh, nope. It's gonna have to be more economical. Well, that sucks. How dare you live? I like that warning noise when a, when a super elite turns active. Nice and intimidating. See, this is really good, I just have to really feather it. <laughs> See, that's the interesting thing. If, if these guys would stop attacking me, I would show you. Um, Alright, let's clear this out first. So the way th these things fire normally is almost like totally unrelated to how it looks when you're using the rampage. Like, ah, stop that. Compare that and this. It's like half as much and like half as much uh, thick density. I don't think this is bad, it's just I'm not used to feathering it this much. Because my stuff so far has been cheaper. Ugh, I really need a better core for these. I thought my better EP rate would save me, but apparently not. I'm getting some good gear here, so maybe some of this will alleviate my pain. It's sort of hard to tell with the gear you get. Like, I can tell I'm getting lots of items, but... You really can't know what you get until you go back to the home screen, or to the equipment screen. It's not really like Borderlands nice on-the-spot comparisons. More railguns to trash. You know, I don't even find railguns very useful uh, on the fortress because they don't have the... Uh, Splash radius. That last boss fight did go decently, but uh, the first boss I just completely tore apart. It was hilarious. It went down in one cycle, and uh, at basically no risk to me. It was pretty great. Interesting thing is that Holding both of them doesn't really go too much slower. I guess maybe it's half speed. But like... Just manually firing 
I guess manually firing one does give me constant stream of shots. That's that's good to know. Doesn't really feel worth it though. Cause with just one stream I can't be sure everything's dead. Alright, let's get out. Hope my voice doesn't sound too weird. I'm recording this from the couch. Um, I've been trying this. It's worked out pretty well so far. It, I think it sounds a little bit more distant. And that's the heavy duty plasma. I can't get rid of that. Um... Really tempting, but that EP cost is just too much. And that fat beam, that's just never gonna work with my thing. And that thing just sucks. Um, normal shotguns I never bother with. It's pretty high damage for an auto gun. No rocket launchers, no real guns. Ooh. Actually, let's deal with these first. These are easier to deal with. Junk, junk. Oh, that one's actually not that junky, but whatever. Ah, nothing? Take recharge over power. And. Ah. Yeah, that actually might be better for better for how I feather, have to feather with this thing. Oh, these things. Oh man, I have so many good guns, I can't choose. This sucks. significantly better. Let's try out this double shotgun thing. I'm not sure this will be as good for bosses though. Ah. And this runs out even faster. That's not that's no good. Oh, for Pete's sake. Yeah, this CP use is just way too high. Uh, that's like hilariously bad. Okay. Hmm. I really wish some of these things were easier to tell from the equipment screen. Like, range is completely missing, which is very frustrating for certain weapons. 
For some reason, all of the weapons I've had this run seem to be pretty long range. I guess it's mostly the beam weapons that and the rocket launchers that I'm super that seem to vary a lot, and it matters a lot when they do vary. Yeah, this sucks. I, I don't think I'm going to go with the shotguns anymore. Unless they have really low EP usage. Oh, fuck. I don't think I'm capable of not swearing during roguelikes. That's just going to have to be a fact of life. Because there's really no being prepared enough. Unless possibly you've played it for like a billion hours and you know everything that can possibly come. But that's not me. Not in anything but Binding of Isaac. And I haven't gotten the DLC for that, so... If I did, I would be right back to that. To the whole not very good again phase. Alright. So I wonder what the hell that, those weird sounds were. It must have been Steam Big Pictures' fault. Like, is that the trailer TV screensaver thing? I don't even have that enabled though. And I was playing. I'm playing a game, so the screenshot saver shouldn't have come up. But whatever. Ah, go away. I'm very glad I tested this before I upgraded these, because this sucks and I hate it. That is my review of this particular weapon combo. Alright, let's get out of here. I have one more mission before a boss, right? I just noticed we have a name for our robot here. So yeah, let's... let's I'm selling these <laughs> so much. That one actually doesn't seem too bad. Uh, the EP use is pretty bad. Not that. It's pretty impressive, but oh, I might keep that one. No beams. Oh, I equipped it for some reason. Plasma gun. Ooh! Oh, look at that. Very tempted by that one. Not tempted by that one. I think I might have to keep this one on for something and then use something more expensive for the other arm. Good, but all right, we'll try this. Other classes, Not good HP, but kind of want that overheat security. All right, sure. I was hoping for something with better EP reduction, but that'll do. No, you suck. Both of these suck. And not good enough to be tempting. Wait, I equipped the wrong thing. I want you. Right? Yes, let's try this. Excellent, a tiny map. I love the tiny maps. I would I would get a skill that guarantees only tiny maps, to be quite honest. Yeah, this is more like it. So did these not reach? I guess the range is okay. Hmm. 
wish there was a better way to compare the damage they're dealing, like, in practical terms, instead of just the damage numbers. So this should have pretty good... The plasma gun isn't looking too impressive, but its individual bolt should do pretty high damage, I think. I just froze myself. Oops. At least it didn't hurt. Alright, so... Took no damage. Guess it's time to buff a lot of my crap. Don't need that. Don't need that. Guess I'll buff this thing. going all in on damage. Okay. Let's hope we don't die instantly like I always do on new bosses. Though I fought this one once before. The pattern so far has been instantly die to the boss, then handily beat it the next time. Holy crap, you spawn elites? How rude. Yeah, I'm not sure what the- Oh, what?! Ugh. I didn't even realize I was taking damage. Ugh. That's one thing I, I really don't like about the boss fights. That There's just crap everywhere in that particular boss fight. And it's really hard to actually know when you're taking damage. Especially since so much stuff is dealing flat splash damage. See, that is exactly where I died last time in pretty much the same manner. Elite kills. Dang, I killed a lot of elites last time. Yeah, that was an okay run. I, I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep going with this. It, I do like it, but... I, I really don't like spending an hour to die in two minutes on a boss. It's just, uh...